guys, uh, this is uh, James. Uh, I have a treat for you uh, if you are using FanBan and also if you are considering uh, use as a FanBan. Uh, this is uh, very uh, interesting actually uh, what happened. Uh, I titled uh, this portion of my uh, video, uh, video clip, uh, FanBan uh, versus Fungal uh, Nail. So uh, uh, this is uh, how I actually treat, treated a uh, fungal uh, nail. <laughs> this is actually uh, pretty exciting. Uh, once I uh, did the experiment, and uh, I was very uh, happy and surprised uh, by the result. Uh, let's start with the before picture. Uh, this is the uh, before a picture of a. Uh, friend of mine, uh, it is a she, so I'll just call her JJ. Uh, she had been struggling uh, with uh, this uh, toenail uh, for a long time. I mean, it's a fungal nail and you can see that the yellow portion is much bigger uh, than the uh, clear portion of the nail. Uh, so towards the bottom of the nail, well, you can see the clear portion. That's the new nail uh, that's uh, growing. And then the, uh, the rest of it, the yellow portion is the old nail and it's the fungal part. Uh, so it's actually a dead uh, nail. Anyway, uh, this is uh, day one or uh, show, you can call it a day zero also because uh, nothing uh, had been applied to it anyway. Anyway, on this uh, date, uh, before the application, uh, this is what it looked like uh, as far as the fan band is concerned. So uh, you should be looking at the uh, yellow portion to see later uh, what kind of improvement uh, has been made uh, to the toenail. And also uh, on this uh, next uh, picture, uh, it's a bit blurry, uh, so uh, the focus is not as uh, good as I would like the picture to be anyway, but it's good enough uh, for our uh, purpose. Uh, notice the gap uh, between the yellow portion of the toenail and the skin. Uh, there is a considerable, considerable uh, gap uh, between the two. And uh, later, uh, what I found out was that when I applied the uh, FanBan solution to the nail, uh, it would actually the solution would actually go into the uh, skin portion. So between the nail and the skin, it would just go straight into it. It would seep into uh, that portion uh, but as the uh, nail uh, improved and as the uh, fungal uh, nail uh, grew out uh, it became clear uh, that the solution would no longer go in between the nail and the skin uh, in, in the gap between the two anyway uh, so it's uh, very interesting uh, the way it turned out anyway this is uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and call it a day one because uh, on this uh, date uh, that, that we started application of the uh, the solution, a fan band solution also. So on February 1, 2020, uh, on day one, uh, this is what it looked like. And as far as the uh, preparation of the solution is concerned, uh, this is what it was. Uh, we had um, a packet of uh, Panacura C, uh, which contained uh, four gram of uh, Panacura C, uh, each gram containing 222 milligram of FenBan. Anyway, uh, I mixed uh, three grams of it and not the whole entire packet, but just the three grams out of the four gram uh, onto this uh, little glass uh, jar uh, or veal, uh, you can call that. Uh, it's actually a, uh, a uh, bottle uh, that I had uh, from uh, Kerastasi, uh, it's a, a hair serum. <laughs> it's uh, supposed to grow your hair or you know, make your hair fuller and thicker or something like that. Uh, I'm not sure if uh, it was as good as uh, they had advertised it uh, to be uh, as far as my hair uh, was concerned, uh, but as far as uh, containing uh, the solution, uh, the FanBan solution was go uh, goes, it was excellent. It was an excellent uh, material, uh, I mixed it with water, uh, just regular uh, tap water, uh, and uh, three quarter of that packet uh, went into this, and uh, it actually dissolved uh, very well, and once I put a cap on it, actually it 
uh, kept the uh, solution uh, intact and uh, quite wet uh, so it was really good <laughs> so I found an excellent uh, use uh, for the bottle and uh, what you're looking at on the left is the uh, cotton swabs uh, that I had used uh, to apply the solution onto the uh, toenail uh, this uh, gives you a better picture of uh, what uh, the uh, solution looked like uh, once it was mixed uh, with tap water in the veal and on this picture uh, this is day six uh, you can see that there was uh, some improvement already uh, to the toe so every uh, day uh, in the morning and in the uh, evening uh, the solution had been applied onto the toe and uh, this is actually after uh, a bit of a trimming uh, after the uh, toenail had been cut and it does indicate that the uh, lower portion of the nail uh, has been growing. Uh, it's actually uh, the clear portion, uh, which is the healthy part of the toenail, uh, is gaining on the yellow portion. Uh, yellow portion had been trimmed off a bit, so uh, it's, it, it looks like it's about 50-50 now between the clear and the yellow portion. And this was a major improvement, but the uh, bigger and more noticeable improvement was actually with the uh, the gap uh, between the toe uh, and the uh, skin the gap has actually tightened quite a bit so whereas before you could just apply the solution and then it would seep into the gap between the uh, nail and the uh, skin it wasn't doing that as much so uh, the the nail and the skin was getting tighter and it was uh, almost as if uh, they were bonding uh, so the fungal portion as it grew out uh, the healthier portion of the nail uh, was uh, gaining uh, and it uh, was actually looking better and better and uh, the next picture so is uh, Feb 13 uh, 2020 uh, this is day 13 of the application of the fan band onto the nail and as you can see uh, the yellow portion has a really uh, uh, gotten uh, much uh, smaller uh, now and then uh, the clear portion is gaining uh, and I'm not sure if at this point uh, there was a bit more of a trimming or not uh, to the uh, toenail uh, but nevertheless uh, the important uh, factor in uh, the event uh, was that the, uh, the clear portion was gaining on the yellow portion and it kept on uh, getting uh, better and better uh, and uh, after that, let me see, uh, I wanted to show you this one. Uh, this is how the application was made. Uh, you would uh, use a cotton swab and uh, dip the swab uh, on, into the solution and uh, you would uh, tap uh, that solution onto the toe, toe or the toenail and this is what it looked like. Uh, it only takes about a few minutes uh, for it to really dry, so maybe less than five minutes and uh, that's uh, what it looks like after the application was made and here in this picture uh, this is the Feb 20 uh, 2020 uh, which is actually uh, today uh, today I uh, took a picture of it and uh, you can see uh, the gap between the toenail and the skin uh, has uh, gotten much uh, narrower. I mean, there is uh, still a gap, uh, but uh, it's not the type of gap actually that allows for a whole lot of a solution to seep into the, uh, the uh, separation anymore. It just kind of stays there. Uh, if you put a solution on top of it, if you drop the, some uh, solution on top of it, which is wonderful uh, and if you can, I'm gonna move on to the next picture. Uh, this is what it looks like uh, at, after uh, day 20 I mean uh, you can see that there was a major major improvement uh, there is a lot more clear a clear toenail uh, compared to the yellow portion so the the yellow portion has not completely gone away and apparently what ha what's happening is that the uh, healthier and clearer uh, portion of the nail is growing out of the toe and it's pushing the uh, yellow portion out of the way and once it grows out fully and then once the uh, yellow portions have been uh, trimmed away 
I think the fungal problem uh, would be gone. So it actually has taken about 20 days uh, for this much of an improvement to show. So I'm uh, expecting another in another 20 days uh, or within about three weeks, uh, the uh, yellow portion would be completely pushed out of the uh, toe and what would be remaining is the uh, clear uh, portion uh, which is wonderful and I'm going to give you a, uh, a view of uh, day one so you have a <coughs> excuse me a good uh, comparison uh, to uh, day 20 so again uh, this is day 20 and then uh, you are looking at day one okay this is wonderful right anyway uh, once I have, uh, I guess, day 40 or sometime after that, I'll uh, do another uh, video clip and show you uh, what type of uh, changes or uh, the improvements have been made uh, from day one. Uh, so this had been my uh, fan van versus uh, fungal nail. Take care. Bye.